Tamara Lynn Whitfield, and I am so excited about being a student at Liberty University. First, I would like to thank my classmates and Professor Falwell for such an amazing class. This class, Introduction to Education and Classroom Technology, has taught me so many things. When I first started this class, when I first signed up for this class, I was thinking that it was just going to be about computers and trying to figure out what programs to use, but little did I know I would get so much information about what it takes to be a teacher, to be a great teacher, not just a basic teacher, but to be an outstanding teacher and um, learning some of the, the different techniques and, and things that the original teachers or the teachers from our videos have been doing. And based on that, I really want to um, focus on how much I enjoyed the videos that those teachers um, that were in our books that we learned about, how they inspired me so much. They were, they were open and they were engaging and they were honest in my opinion. They didn't just talk about all the joys of teaching, but they talked about the challenges of teaching and they gave different ideas and things that worked and things that didn't work. And when I looked at that, I, I envisioned my classroom and what it would be like for me. And I appreciated the fact that there, that it wouldn't have to be a lot of trial and error. I know there will be, but on the things that I learned in this class, um, I would have more of an opportunity to be successful than to have to, you know, try to decide what I need to do otherwise since something didn't work. So I really appreciated those videos. I also like the concept of the way it progressed from historical times to the time now. And I appreciated that because when you don't want history to repeat itself, especially when it is in a negative aspect. So it not only showed how far we've come, but it also showed you know, those that persevered and those that stood strong so that we can be um, in this current state that we're in right now with the freedom to, to have an education and, and to seek um, higher heights and higher levels. I believe that my biggest challenge that I am facing on this journey um, to becoming an educator is just to pace myself and to kind of settle my excitement so that I can stay in the moment and do the best I can in the time that I'm in so that when the opportunity does present itself where I'm finally in the classroom and I'm finally um, welcoming my first set of students, then I can have something to grasp. I realize that right now I'm building my roots. So without roots, even though I'm excited to get in there and I get there, my roots are going to be very important because I'm going to need something to draw on once I am in that setting. So I have to really learn how to settle myself, learn as much as I can, experience as much as I can, so that when I have the opportunity to be in the position, I can truly, truly give 110% knowing that I am properly rooted, properly grounded. My foundation is strong. So I realize right now I'm working on that foundation. The most boring part of building a house is laying the foundation because it doesn't really look like a house. It doesn't really look like anything is happening, but it is the most important part of the house. So I just have to remember that. So that is my biggest challenge right now. Oh, now you're taking me back to envisioning. When you ask me about how I envision my classroom using technology, um, I have had the opportunity to be a substitute teacher and the teachers in the school have gotten to know me so well that they call for me a lot and I'm kind of there all the time. Same school and, and I worked, I maxed out my sub days every year for the last five years. So they have been very open to showing me different ways of doing things. I have a school account. I'm able to pull up technology, work with students with technology, using things like Flipgrid. I have a wonderful relationship with our technology specialist at the school. So she is always giving me ideas and telling me about different things. And this is even before they knew that I was 
currently pursuing this educational journey. So um, I know that technology will play a strong part. Of course, I love engaging students and doing lectures and teaching, but I'm also very aware that technology will only enhance, not replace um, the lecturing and the teaching and the socializations. So I would love to incorporate um, different technologies as far as uh, like Google Earth and making things come alive, you know, and using different gaming systems so that learning can still be fun, using technology so that students can be independent and learn and read and study and discuss on their own without worrying about being in front of students and saying the wrong thing, technology would give them opportunity to have a voice and not worry about being shy or different things like that. So I am just excited about it. I'm, I'm hoping, I would think that um, in my first school that I would be able to have a smart board and would be able to use all of the aspects of it and try to learn as much as I can. I don't want to be limited when it comes to the things that are provided for us. So I would probably be the one in the front row at all the technology sessions that teachers go to because I want to soak and absorb any opportunity for my children in my classroom to be able to have uh, the top-notch technology that's available. So thank you so much for listening. I'm so, so excited about this journey. And I, I'm just praying for all of you and blessings on all of you that we all make it together and um, that God will keep us and that we will continue on the journey that God has given us. So thank you and God bless.